I'm outside BBC Manchester on Oxford Road, but not for much longer. There's no doubt this vision of the future has impressed the BBC's Board of Governors. A new home for the corporation, BBC Sports, Radio 5 Live, CBBC, CBBS and more in Salford Quays. So the BBC is moving to Salford, but what impacts will this have? We spoke to council leader John Merry and the BBC to find out more. What we're trying to do is, uh, in preparation for 2011, is make uh, a real effort to go out into communities through schools, through colleges, through community organisations, through general awareness, to get people aware and then provide opportunities for training. I think it would be, uh, well, it should be one of the most exciting times of one's career because this is something special, it's something new, it hasn't been done before, the BBC opening a huge new centre in the north, uh, and that's fantastic for the north because too much of the BBC has come out from London and yet everybody pays their licence fees right across the country, including the north, so it's time we heard more northern people, heard more northern voices, and this is the way to do it. It is exciting for us because we're going to have a brand new studio and I believe it's going to be um, ceiling to floor, floor glass Whoa. and so we'll be able to see out onto the concourse and everything and people will be able to see in. Um, I think that's how it's going to be, yeah. And so we're going to have like this brand new studio and it's going to be an exciting sort of new media village if you like. So we're we'll waiting until there's an official announcement but I think that we've worked very hard with ITV as well as the BBC to get them onto that particular site. One of the things that will happen is that the tram will be extended and so that the tram route will be extended into the BBC so that people can take advantage of that. We are proposing a brand new secondary school on the quay site. You know, there's perhaps people will have the opportunity to go to right, right across the city, which will be an academy specialising in media studies and very closely linked to the BBC. Um, in terms of the way it's funded, Peel are providing the money to actually build the place, right? We're providing some of the cash for the infrastructure, you know, the roads and those sort of things that are going in there. But we're doing the same as we would do with any other major development. We'll provide the things, money for things like the roads and building the trams and so forth. But in the end, we will get the council tax back from that area that will actually benefit the whole of the people of Salford. So we're very clear that we will come out of it with a profit, if you like, uh, for the people of, of the city. We asked the people of Manchester and Salford what they think of BBC's move to Media City in Salford. I think it would be a good idea. Because I'm a Mancunian, I would like it to stay in Manchester because I think it's in a good place and it's a shame to move it to a lot of city. I didn't actually know the first time I've heard of it today, actually, when you've just um, came up to us. It's good if they're creating jobs because there's a lot of people losing their jobs at the moment. People in Manchester who could be better represented, right, if they could come more to the forefront, you know what I mean? They're about 10 years behind here. It's not going to make any sense whatsoever to me. The poorer people in Salford um, are not going to greatly benefit from it, I shouldn't think. We love it. Bring it on. Yay. So the future is bright for the BBC and for Salford, Greater Manchester and the North West. Back to the studio.